everybody, welcome back. It's Theodore here, and today we're gonna be doing something really exciting, something really fun, and that is an unboxing. So, I got this box yesterday from Lomography, and this video is not sponsored by Lomography, but they sent me this little gift, and I really wanted to do an unboxing for you guys and share with you guys what I got. So, yeah, let's get right into it. This is the Sprocket Rocket. Okay, so basically what this camera does is that it includes these little holes from the film into your pictures too. So it makes the pictures really unique. That's why it's called Sprockets because these little holes are called Sprockets. Um, but anyways, this camera is so freaking cool, guys. I love this black. It's so nice. Wow. This is such a nice camera. I don't put some jewelry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, thank you, Lomography. I also got film to play with this camera. That's so cool. What is it? It's called Analog Love. So just color, regular color, 400 ISO film. So I will be playing around with this. And that's it. That is it. That is it. Thank you so much, Lomography. So yeah, let's do a really quick unboxing. Um, thank you so much, Lomography, for sending me this fun, fun gift. Um, now I just need to figure out how to open it. How do I open this? Uh, so there's these little things right here. Oh yeah. Okay, so you you pull this out. <laughs> oh, okay, I got it. I got it. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I got it. Wow. It smells like a new camera. Alright, alright. The camera. Okay, I'm gonna put the packaging somewhere. This packaging is so nice. I love packaging. I love this packaging so much. Look at that. That's, that is so cool. Anyways, I don't know why I'm so excited about the packaging. <laughs> okay, so this is the camera, the lens, um, the lens cap. Okay, so let's see what this lens is. Um, 0 0.6 to 1 meter and then 1 meter to infinity. Okay. Alright, alright. Oh, okay. So look, look at this. It moves it like up. Yeah. Okay, so this is the lens cap. Dude, this, this black is so nice. Oh my gosh, I hit that really hard. Anyways, so you open this to put in your film. Ooh, this is, this is a frame. Remove this, remove it if you want sprocket holes on your image. Keep it in for a clean cut sprocket hole free image. Okay, so if I wanna use, whoa. So if I want to take pictures with sprockets, I take this this frame out. But if I don't want sprockets, um, I leave it in so that I don't have tiny holes in my pictures. But I really like that hole. Um, well, thank you so much, Lomography. I keep on saying this. <laughs> but really though, this is so cool. So I took it out. I'm going to leave. I'm gonna take this frame out so my sprockets can be in the picture. Well, hold on. Whoa, what is this? 
It's like a little user manual. Whoa, guys, look. It's a panoramic camera too, so that's, I didn't think, I don't think I told you guys it's a panoramic camera, but look. It basically takes pictures with these unique holes. Isn't that cool? Wow. Whoa. That's so cool. This looks really cool. This picture of a bridge. Wow. In the back right here, see how wide that is? That is just so cool. It can capture all of this land landscape. Pretty cool. Whoa, it's really big. Whoa. Oh, tripod strap screw. Oh, there's a strap screw for your tripod mount. This looks very, um, this looks very steampunk and, uh, I don't know, like, uh, you know, that era where they use, they wore like those circular glasses, you know? I don't know, it's, it looks very steampunky to me. It looks really cool. I've always loved steampunk, so this is just like aperture. Oh, there's an aperture setting lever. So the aperture setting lever is on the bottom for cloudy and sunny days. It's just two settings, nothing much. Two settings, sunny and cloudy days. And then we have so this is how you advance your film. This is a fully analog camera. So what you have to do is, once you're done taking your picture, you have to wind it. And then once you're done, you have to wind it back into the roll so then you can go develop it. Pretty basic stuff. So let's try it with the film. Yay. I have film to play with too. Oh, I like this. If you guys aren't familiar with film, 400 film is basically like film you can take anywhere. You can take it to the, the beach where it's super bright all the time or you can, even in low light settings, it's pretty good too. So it's basically like basic cam uh, basic film that you can take anywhere with you. So how you put the film in is you have to put this up and then you put your film in like this. You pull it to the side. And there's like this hole that you see, right? Put it in this hole. Okay. You push this down so it keeps the film still. Like that. And then you can twist this. Right there. <clears throat> and Yep, it's gonna include these little sprockets because, see, right behind there's the lens. And then we're gonna put the lid back on. Yay, I can take pictures now. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. That's so cool. I feel like I need to put one of those um, lens cap um, um, thingy so I, it could, like I won't forget about this lens cap. But yeah. So cool. So now I'm gonna advance the film until it says one. Right here, right now it says E. Advance it until it says one. Wind it this way, there's an arrow that shows you. Now my question is now, how do I take the picture? <laughs> Where's the shutter button? <laughs> huh? Wait, how do I take the picture? Oh, is this the shutter button? This is what it is? Okay, hold on, I need to read the manual. Yeah, yep. This right here is the shutter button. Yep, that, that thing. So once I've ed taken a picture already, it won't take another picture. So I can't do double exposures on this. But I can keep on advancing the film. <laughs> I'm kind of 
kind of confused. It doesn't really like stop me from winding, so I just keep on winding until it says like three or two or four. <coughs> Ooh, this paper. Ah, <sighs> this paper. I don't know why I'm sneezing because of the smell, but it's very new. <laughs> So basically with this camera, you just keep on winding the film until you see the next uh, white dot or like um, number three, number four or whatever. You just keep on winding until you know it's your next exposure. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Thank you so much Lomography for sending me this camera. I will play with it. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to Lomography again for sending me this really fun camera, the Sprocket Rocket. I really do appreciate it. And you guys also sent me film, which you guys didn't have to, but you guys did. So thank you. I will have a lot of fun with this camera abroad and in state. I really want to take more pictures like with like panoramas and things. I just want like a really wide picture of like a city or like a landscape. Yeah, and especially with the sprocket holes and everything, it just makes the pictures just so much more unique. So yeah, thank you so much to Homography again and thank you guys again for watching. So I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.